Hello everyone, I'm Moldy Macaroni X, but you can call me Moldy. Megabound absolutely blew minds when it was released. People praised it for its awesome art and designs, as well as its original take on the theme. However, there is actually a level that accomplished everything Megabound did over a year earlier. This level was B. While the creator of Megabound had a part in B, which explains their similarities, B was a level way ahead of its time, and Megabound proves this. Everything Megabound did had already been done through B. In this video, I will be analyzing B and try and come up with how to make a good theme. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. So, now we are going to analyze B and use its aspects to determine what makes a good theme level. At the end of this video, I will use what we analyze to make the perfect formula for making a theme level. Firstly, B has an original idea. B is about, well, B. It expands on this idea by adding art of bees, as well as some honey and hive-like designs that fit the idea. As well as this, B takes a very derpy approach to the theme, which is something I haven't seen really done before. An example of this are the awesome boss fights with this giant bee in the level. The ending part with the massive bee is also hilarious. So overall, B is a good example of an original theme. To make a theme level as good as B, the theme should be something unique. Common themes nowadays are toxic, nature, water, lava, and anything weather related actually. So I would avoid these if you plan on making a theme level. But B. It's about bees. And never before have I seen a level expand on such a silly theme as good as B has done. Secondly, as I just briefly spoke of, B expands its theme. Not only does it just consist of art of bees, but it also has a lot of designs representing honey and a hive, which fit the theme, yet are different enough to give the level some variation. Imagine if this level was just solely about bees, it would be nowhere near as good as it is now. Let's compare another generic theme, space. There are countless space theme levels out there, yet the truth is, none of them expand on the idea of space. Most space levels now just throw some space art in the background and some asteroids and think it is enough. In fact, the only space level I can think of on the top of my head that really expands on the theme is Event Horizon by NJ Anubis, Vibrin, and more. This level expands on the theme of space by also adding a space station or spaceship part at the start, and some rocky or moon theme designs in Viprin's part. However, this level is lacking because of its bad quality. This level is really old, and has not aged well. Because of this, I believe that we have yet to see a really good space theme level. Thirdly, B actually feels like you are somewhere. By this, I mean that B has a good setting. B feels like you are actually traveling through a beehive. And all the designs complement this, most of the level feels enclosed, with only really the start and end feeling more open, almost as if you are entering and leaving the beehive. Another creator that does this with their levels is Ancient Anubis, who is probably the best theme creator of all time in my opinion. When Anubis makes their levels, they put a lot of thought and effort into the setting, so not only does the level resemble the theme, but the player actually feels like they are at the location. A level that does not do this is Toxitic Mash by Alex112300. Alex is really good at art and coming up with the theme, but not at creating a setting. Luckily, they have improved in their newer levels. In Toxitic Mash, it clearly resembled the theme, but there is no clear setting. There is art in the background, but it doesn't feel like you are at a specific location. Compared to this, B and Ancient Anubis do much better jobs at establishing a clear setting, which is not only improves the theme, but can even impact the player emotionally, such as what Lonely Travel has done, although I will save that for another video. Finally, let's talk about the solo storyline and boss fight. If you've seen my Ouroboros video, you may already know that I love spotting little bits of a story and levels. Of course, there is no way I can establish a full-on plot but a little bit of a story in a level is always good. And what makes a good story? A final boss battle. So, let's try and come up with a story for B that incorporates its boss fights. To start things off, the player enters the beehive. This is because, after the first part, everything feels enclosed from the outside world. We then meet a lot of derpy yet friendly bees, as in the first spider part. Then at 18%, we meet a bee that is not amused by our presence, which is the first boss fight. We battle this bee until we win and it leaves us alone. We then journey more through this hive, seeing a lot of derpy bees. We then journey through a corridor at 57% and end up encountering with the big bee again, who is more angry at us this time for disturbing him once more. So we battle him once again. To end off the level, he gives up and we exit the beehive after meeting with one huge king bee with his derpy face. Once again, like I said in my Ouroboros video, this is not an award winning story. However, it is still a story nonetheless. The story is a lot more silly and fun when compared to the one I found in Ouroboros, but that's what makes this level so unique. The entire level is just fun and silly. The story really helps enhance the theme, which is why aspects such as a setting are really important in themes. Once again, whether a story like this is intentional or not, the fact that I can even come up with something of a plot is pretty awesome. 
So here we are. Those are my four points, and now we will combine them together to create a good theme that can be used to create a good theme level. Firstly, we need an original idea. Avoid generic themes and maybe be a little more open to ideas. After all, B is literally about bees. Secondly, expand its theme. Don't just make it about bees, but maybe add the hive. Don't just make it about the void and galaxies of space, but maybe add some planets and spaceships. Thirdly, establish a setting. A setting really makes the level a lot more enjoyable and is useful in enhancing the theme. Playing a level with just art of the theme is not enough. Actually make the player feel like they are there. And finally, maybe enhance the theme by adding some kind of a plot or story. Nothing too much, but a little something never hurts. Even if you don't intend to add a full story, using a setting will usually create something of one, which is good. So now, we are nearing the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was interesting to you all. I really enjoyed analyzing this level. If you want, I have a few other videos a part of this analyzing series, such as the Ouroboros video that I spoke of. If you want to support me in this channel, please consider subscribing. I appreciate every subscriber, and it is the best way to support this channel. Feel free to leave a comment as well if you agree or disagree with anything I say. I love seeing what you guys have to say. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a great day.